Hello, this is Shar from The Real Kitchen, and I'd like to welcome you to uh, The Real Kitchen for Real People, and I'd like to say Happy New Year to everyone, and I'm trusting that everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today I'd like to invite you to cook with me in making sweet and sour chicken. So let's get started first thing I've washed my chicken breast I have two chicken breasts here I've washed them they're skinned and and the bone and so what I'm gonna do here is cut them up in little cubes and uh, season them with the pepper and salt so you just want to cut up your your chicken in little cubes because these are you're kind of like a little nugget you know and I'm just making this for two people so I'm just using two breasts and you can use as many breasts or chicken thighs or whatever you you like whatever part of the chicken you like thigh or chicken breast will be the best um, so we just want to cut these up in little cubes. Set them in your bowl. Okay. We're gonna get through with these. And then we will season them with your kosher salt and pepper, like I said. Okay. So I'm just making this, like I said, a little portion for two people. So you can increase the recipe by the size of people you're going to serve. And double the double it or whatever. Get that one's a little big. Okay. Now I have my chicken here in little cubes. That's two chicken breasts. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt to this. And also a teaspoon of black pepper. So, about a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, I'm gonna kind of stir it up here. That'd be good. Get those seasonings talking. Okay, and it'll look like this. And we're gonna what we're gonna do here now is set this aside for about uh, probably 25 minutes to 30 minutes. We're gonna set this aside. Okay, now when while the chicken is uh, marinating to the side, I want to start on my sweet and sour sauce. And what we're going to add, what I already have in this bowl, is three tablespoons of sugar. Now you can use sugar or uh, honey or um, any kind of sweetener you want in, in the bowl. You can use a splendor if you can't have sugar. But right now I'm using just regular sugar. I have three tablespoons of sugar here and I'm going to combine these four items. I'm going to combine the three tablespoons of sugar, the three tablespoons of white vinegar. I'm just going to pour that in there. And then I'm going to add four 
tablespoons of ketchup. And like I said, you can use any ketchup you want. They have all kinds of ketchups now. So this is the Simply uh, brand, the Simple Ketchup brand by Heinz. So that's four tablespoons of ketchup in this bowl. Okay. And then I want to add about three fourth cup, no, excuse me, about three fourth teaspoon, sorry, of soy sauce. Three fourth teaspoon of soy sauce. So I'm going to add that to the mixture. And then once we've added all of these together, we're going to stir them together. Mix them all up together. Make sure you mix that up really good. I'm going to change it to my blender thing here. So we're going to mix that all up. It smells good already just the sauce alone and you want to mix that until you don't hear that sugar grainy at, at the bottom okay so that's about like that that's the way to look really look good okay now we want to set this aside and we want to make the batter uh, for our chicken. Okay, like I said, we're going to make our uh, batter for the chicken. And what you'll need is three tablespoons of flour. I'm going to pour it in a bowl, so I'll get you another bowl. Three tablespoons of flour. Two teaspoons of um uh, cornstarch or you can use corn flour they're the same thing so I have cornstarch so I will be using two teaspoons of corn starch okay and now you will need one fourth teaspoon of baking powder one fourth of baking powder. Oops, 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 oops. And now you're going to use uh, one four teaspoon of salt. And I use the light salt on this. Okay, so that's one fourth teaspoon of salt. And then one egg white. And then what you're going to do now is add four tablespoons of chilled cold water. So I have it setting in a, uh, my water setting in ice to, to ensure that it is chill when I'm ready to use it. Which I am ready now. So I'm going to use four tablespoons of cold chilled water. Okay, now that I have that all uh, measured out, that's three tablespoons of flour, two teaspoons of corn starch, a half a teaspoon of 
baking powder, a half a uh, fourth a teaspoon of salt, one egg white, and four tablespoons of chill cold water. Okay, and I'm gonna mix that all up. And I'll have the ingredients and recipe at the bottom of this video. So we're gonna mix this all up until it's uh, smooth. And this is what will make your batter for your chicken bites. So you wanna mix that up really good. Get all the lumps, if any, is in there. And it'll look like that. And this is real simple. And uh, by the time you get out, go order it. Sweet and sour chicken, you could be finished with this because you can always make uh, your sauce ahead of time and have your chicken already ready ahead of time. And all you need to do is make your batter and you'll be ready. Okay, that's what it looks like. See, it's ready. Okay, and now what we'll do is we want to uh, put some oil in the skillet and heat it up. And always a tip, always keep your area clean and clean and wipe up the areas where you're preparing your food. It makes it a lot less stressful if whatever you use, you wipe it off, and clean it up, and put it up. So, okay, we're going to, we got that tip in. So now I'm going to get in my skillet out and we're going to heat oil. Now I'm going to heat my oil until it's hot, until you feel the heat, or you can sprinkle a little flour in there, and if it fizzes, that means it's hot enough. So I'm going to let this heat, and I'll get back with you. Okay, now my oil is heated, and I'm going to dip my chicken in the batter, one at a time one piece at a time and then drop it into the oil. And you just do this until you get all your chicken coated and dropped in the oil. And your oil is on after it's heated, you kind of want to turn it down to uh, medium low so it won't burn. of a fast process so you have to move the thing. And so you want to just turn
fast and all this. And as they get done, you just take them out and put them on a paper towel and let them drain. After your chicken is done, you drain your grease off your skillet and using that same skillet without the oil in it, you add your chicken uh, back into the skillet and then you're going to toss it with your sauce that you made. So good. And on the side, I'm going to have rice and uh, broccoli. And I will uh, give you the recipe for my fried rice. Okay, now that I have this in the skillet, now I'm going to pour the sauce over the top of the chicken. Of course my fire is off, which is that the skillet is still warm. And then you want to stir that sauce. Just kind of coat your pieces. You know, just kind of turn it over in there. Now you're going to add a, a little red pepper and green bell pepper in here while it's sauteing. Okay, I have about this size of red pepper and bell pepper that I cut in there small because I don't like mine real big. And, but it's up to you, whatever you want to, however you want to cut them in there while it's sauteing. There's no certain way, just cut them in there however you want. And the green. So I cut them about like this in mine. Okay. And then I turn my fire back on. And then I want it on low. And just let it marinate in the sauce. And then all it is to it. Looks delicious. Look at that. Ooh. Can't wait. And you know I'm going to eat it. Whatever I make, I'm going to eat for dinner. So we're going to let that just marinate a little bit. And then I'll be back to plate it. Let this uh, simmer on low for about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, here it is plated with my rice and broccoli. So if you like this video, be sure to comment and let me know. And thumbs up if all possible. And subscribe if you have not yet. This is a great channel. It has a lot of homemade old fashioned recipes as well as up to date recipes. So just go on and hit that uh, subscribe button and bell button and join the Real Kitchen for Real People 
family. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to eat, as you know. So, until next time, love, love, and God bless you.